set the intention to only communicate with high vibrational beings? No, baby. No, nope, I don't. And what does high vibration mean? Well, the higher the vibration, the closer we are to God. The closer we are to God, the more we embody that God energy and we become like God. And all that can, all that can adjust to that is other high vibration situations, spaces, people, beings, energies. Lower entities and energies cannot tolerate that and the darkness could not overcome the light and the darkness could not comprehend the light. And so if I work on my vibration and if I go into any interaction with the world of spirit in my dominion, which again is the vibration of the essence of who it is that I am as an I am being. If I'm taking the power with me into the interaction, there is no lower energy that's going to want to get in there and try to mess with it. Well, maybe sometimes they will, but very easily do you clear that. First of all, very easily do you sense that. Very easily do you command that thing to leave. And it's not a fearful thing. It's just a a management thing like, nope, you don't belong here. I'm hanging out in my high vibration encounter. I'm hanging out in my high vibration chamber of spirit. The only things that match that vibration are allowed here. You don't even have to say that the vibration signals it. Trust me. You don't have to set terms. You don't have to start saging. You don't have to set your grids out. You don't have to like call in Archangel Michael, although all those things do work, they're, they're protective. All you have to do is make sure you're entering the interaction in a position of power, knowing exactly who it is that you are. And if a shadow being did roll into that encounter, if a malevolent being did try to enter into your space and knock things around, you would have the appropriate perspective, you see, to very quickly and easily command your space to adjust itself in alignment with your intention for that space, which is the intention that you have for yourself. So, no, I don't. I, I just mind my vibration. I think a lot of this other stuff can be distraction, honestly. The clairvoyance comes with my high vibration connection. The clairsentience, the channeling, the downloads comes with as a result of my clicking in. If I don't click in, I don't get that. I may have lower forms of that because I'm open, but I'm, I'm not clicked in. I'm not having that higher understanding or that expanded consciousness. If I focus on that, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things are added unto you, then everything is added unto me in accordance to the connection that I've achieved. Here I want to say, it, this is why it's so important to be fearless and know that you have every right to be. Can you feel that? You have every single right to be fearless because of the sovereign being that you are and because you were created by source energy intentionally and you were created to create and you were created to experience and here you are experiencing and this experience is yours my friend it's not crystal and compton's maybe we're the same thing well we won't get into that this experience is yours and as the creator of it you dictate it people suffer because they don't realize they're the creator of it people fall into compromise because they don't believe that they are the creator of it that they can manifest the life that they truly want not just abilities but relationships and jobs and purpose and money you can create all of this but if you don't believe that and then be that then you won't see that this is why we spent so much time in the foundational sections and and we've had some people write in and say i get it i understand dominion i understand the concept of it but i'm not there yet and i respect that I totally respect that because it took me a grappling experience with a negative entity for me to come into my own with that. So if there's fear, it must be rooted out before you move on to the divination, before you move on to the mediumship. It must be rooted out. The belief has to be in place. If you don't have it yet, that's okay. But you need to spend time in meditation cultivating this. You need to spend time in study, in fellowship, 
in your own energy, exploring the reality of this. My teaching has shifted over the years. I used to be very excited talking about automatic writing and OBs. I still am. I think it's fascinating. I have always been this way. But I've really come into focus about what it's all about. And it's about you in the interaction and who you are. So no, I don't attract negative entities. I don't worry about that. I attract who I am. And if I'm feeling compromised some of these days, I feel compromised. I feel a little depressed. Am I going to go pull out a bunch of divination things and start trying to encounter in the world of spirit? No, I'm going to spend time in meditation. I'm going to go outside and hug a tree. I'm going to get into high vibration because that's where it's at. So focus on that and you won't have to worry about anything else. And the darkness could not even comprehend the light. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalancompton.com. See you there.